Now, summer holidays drawing to a close. You might be having a little bit of the holiday blues, but uh, what if we told you the answer to boosting your mood, your general health and well-being lies in what you're eating? Probably not that bit. <laughs> Probably more of the vegetables and fruit. I'm just... Not the techno the shell. Mood. How do you know that Dr Rupi hasn't done those to fill in a moment? You're now eating. <laughs> You're now eating your Have we got any more taco shell? <laughs> anyway, yes, yeah, Dr Rupi, you stay there and fill your face We've got and plenty. I will go over here and Don't cook. worry. Yeah, yeah, that's fine, that's But it's interesting, cos just even looking at your food boosts my mood, cos oh, it's good. so colourful. Yeah, yeah, and colours are key to a healthy, balanced diet. You know, we've been talking about anxiety today mm. and mental health. You know, nutrition is very much part of our treatment plans and, you know, combining that with exercise and all the other things we've been talking about is what real did you medicinal call it? Use food becomes your food can become your medicine. Yes, nutritional. No, he psychiatry. didn't say it. He didn't say it. You, said said it. It. <laughs> you <laughs> said it because you read it yes. on the brief. Food. It's not on the brief. <laughs> right, it's not on the brief. Right. Don't worry, I'm going to start your cooking. Poison so, or your medicine, <laughs> says colours. Eamon. OK, colours. We've got bell peppers here, red peppers, yellow peppers. But see, I think the poison medicine thing is very interesting because people would look at a taco and they'd say, well, they normally associate that with being in a bag and exactly. eating at the cinema or something. So um, it is very, very interesting as to what actually goes in this. Absolutely, yeah. And we're going to pack it full of as many different ingredients and colours as possible. So we've got some just simple sliced red onion here, some different coloured peppers. These are going to roast in the oven for 20 minutes. And what's that, olive minutes. oil? That was olive oil that went in there with a little bit of seasoning. 20 minutes, it's going to give a lovely colour to it. Do you want to think good about what you're doing, Doctor, is that um, we're not talking about food here as a way of losing weight or non-calorific no. whatever. You're actually genuinely saying this is actually good for you. Absolutely, yeah. And this is, you know, very much a part of the journey that everyone is on when it comes to looking after themselves. This isn't just about mood for your f uh, uh, food for your mood yeah. or food for brain health. It's actually looking after your internal environment and looking after your general well-being. So this has been in for about 20 minutes and now we're going to make a marinade very quickly. So tomato puree, a lot of people don't realise that tomato puree is actually a very concentrated source of vitamin C and carotenoids that you find in tomatoes. Soy sauce, a salty secret bar. ingredient of mine. Salty, so we don't need to season this. Yeah. But, you know, mirroring it with a little bit of extra mm. virgin olive oil and the Cajun spices we've got here, about two tablespoons worth will go in here. You can get low salt soy sauce now as well, don't you? You can get low salt soy sauce. Yeah. Um, uh, for those who are particularly mindful of like blood pressure, yeah. I think it's a very important ingredient. Black pepper goes in and just mix that together and it just gives this wonderful flavour that's going to pack our prawns and our black beans here with uh, tons of flavour. And uh, yeah, it's going to roast up again for another 10 minutes or so. So that goes straight in here. Ideally, you would leave the prawns and everything to marinate for about... Do you mix those up? Yeah, yeah, you can put those in. One of the most important ingredients, I think, that a lot of people don't realise, you know, people talk about protein, people talk about superfoods, black beans or beans, lentils, uh, legumes in general, fantastic for your health. It's going to look after your gut, yeah. it's going to look after your general well-being. And so, Doctor, that you, you preach well. this, I mean, you preach this to people as well, that the answer isn't necessarily tablets, it it's, isn't only tablets. It's part of a treatment uh, plan. So it's, yeah. it's, you know, looking after your health with food, looking after your health with exercise, looking after your lifestyle factors, in addition to pharmaceutical. I still work in general practice, mm -hmm. in emergency medicine, I use medications every day with patients, but we also need to include a conversation around food and lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So and we were talking about that earlier, weren't we, with Dr. Zoe, with yeah. plants and everything. Yeah. So, yeah. This goes back in the oven. So we've got those wonderful flavours. It's going to marry with the, the sweet uh, peppers and the onions that have just had a chance to caramelise. So everything's pretty much going in one pan. And when you're not feeling your best, when you're feeling low, whatever, you don't really want to do stuff mm. that's got too, too many like, moving parts. Back in the oven for... 10 minutes just to allow the prawns to cook and we've got one already made here that you can probably they don't smell. Take long. They don't take long. They don't them, take do long at all, no. I mean, the whole, the whole cooking process... You need some space. We'll put those just where uh, Eamon's been eating those lovely tacos. Yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's the majority of the dish done. I'm going to teach you a very quick way of doing a slaw. If you just pass me those red cabbage, yeah, in the bowl there. So, finely sliced red cabbage, mm -hmm. look at the colour. We're, we're, again, counting the number of colours as possible. Red cabbage is probably one of the most nutrient-dense and cheapest ingredients in the supermarkets. Anthocyanins, flavonoids is good for heart health and general well-being. It's also got fibre in as well. 
add some sliced spring onions, mm -hmm. allium family, also garlic. Anyone got an issue with coriander? No. Nope. There's a lot of people that don't, don't love actually coriander. like coriander. I don't love it. That's okay. I don't hate them I and I can eat it. So, <laughs> <Okay. but> you, <laughs> so if, it, well, if you don't like coriander, you, you like could coriander, add you don't basil. Or... Add, you could add basil, you mm. could add uh, parsley. Oh, could, okay, well, we're going to put some in there. Um, some lime juice. Two limes goes in, and that's actually going to soften the red cabbage. Because, you know, sometimes red cabbage, particularly when it's raw, can be a bit too hard, a bit too crunchy. A little bit of extra virgin olive oil, a tiny bit of seasoning and some black pepper. So when you're saying slaw, most of us think of coleslaw and we think of mayonnaise. Think There's of no mayonnaise, mayonnaise exactly. in this. Exactly. This is a fresh, vibrant uh, slaw that's actually going to... Um, oh, if you leave this for about 10, 15 minutes mm -hmm. or so, the lime juice is going to break down the red cabbage. And you can keep this in the fridge as well. And just, yeah. you know, if, you, if you're making a sandwich or you're making anything that just needs a little bit of colour on the side, pop this on the side and then you're done. And th that's and what that's, you're holding there. Where it ends up. Absolutely. Yep. Where it ends up. Beautiful colours, it's like jewels. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So fruit and vegetables in there. Fruit and vegetables here. And okay. peach, I think, is perhaps a bit of an unusual ingredient because people don't really realise, you know, what, what do you put peach in a savoury dish? But it just adds a little I bit of sweetness. I love a peach. Great, great. And they're in season right now as well, so you're eating seasonally. So we're going to build up our tacos. A lot of people will look at this and think, oh, it's white, you know, it's refined, it's uh, uh, too many carbohydrates. But actually, it's made of 100% corn. It's a whole grain, so this is adding more fibre to your dish as okay. well. You could also use the um, uh, the taco shells as well. Yeah, if they hadn't eaten them all. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So we're just going to pop those on, and we're going to build up. It's funny because I would have thought, oh, why is he putting them into white exactly. pastry? It looks the, like. Yeah, I think this makes them easier to eat Absolutely. actually than than out of the actual shell. Yeah. And then do we just wrap these up? You or can what? wrap them up. You can eat them with knife and fork. You oh, can so you put the coleslaw on top. Put of it that. on top exactly. Yeah. And if you wanted to use a little bit of sour cream or whatever, you could use that too. And you can see how broken down the cabbage is there. Yeah. And there's no nice way of eating this unfortunately you're just gonna <laughs> roll it up and then enjoy it and you can make a whole bunch and kids can build them themselves oh. as well and they're very popular you know as a family meal or you can use the hard taco shells as zesty well. I'm zesty getting the, yeah. the lime <laughs> the peach the prawn yeah oh, there's because... so much flavor mm. in there good yeah. good and you can mm. see you know we've just been adding flavor and ingredients at every point and that's going to boost everything our mood our mental health our what you know, i think is superb is to be able to eat food without guilt. Yes. If you're eating the right stuff and you know it's fueling you well, it's yeah. clean eating, isn't it? Well, it's actually a marriage of good food and also food that nourishes and comforts our soul as well. So I never really like to think about clean food and dirty food. It's actually about that 80-20 rule, like mm. allowing yeah. yourself to indulge, have a brownie every now and then, but the majority of your food, yeah. you want it to look like this. It's I, absolutely delicious. I have that 20-80. So it's 80-20. 80-20, you've got it to the way around. <laughs> Great seeing you, mate. Thank <laughs> you very much, Nick. Thank all you. the details of Dr Rupi's recipe, uh, have a look at our This Morning apps. There's lots in there. It's delicious. Thank yeah. you. Great.